Greetings, humans. I'm Louie T, and I'll be your video artist this evening. Welcome to number five of my digital art series. I actually like this initial uh, sketch here. It's got a lot of energy in it. This digital painting is actually going to be a pretty big project, and I don't think I can possibly compress the video into a 10 minute time span. So anyway, um, one of my human friends, which actually commissioned this piece, recommended that I break these larger projects into two videos, or more in some cases. I think this one is going to be able to fit into two, but we'll see. Anyway, I got this to a point where you can at least see what is going on before I end the video. Okay, do you see that hairdryer looking thing in her hand? That is supposed to be a smoke gun, which I just changed to like a magical totem thing. But the smoke gun was uh, because this was supposed to be like a modern day or even a futuristic scene where a ninja is sneaking into a high security facility. And the smoke gun is so she can see like the lasers and avoid them that way. But then I decided to go with more of a uh, fantasy setting. Um, where she's got like a magical artifact that helps her sneak into a, uh, you know, a, a temple of some sort. Or whatever it is. My uh, commissioner allows me a great deal of artistic freedom, which is really cool. I don't know about you, but it's really hard for me to try to fill a 10 minute video with just me talking about stuff or e even talking about what I'm doing um, so actually I've been working on a musical soundtrack um, for playing in these videos but that's a lot harder than it looks uh, at least for me I'm I'm not as good at that kind of stuff as visual arts and so it actually sounds pretty terrible so I don't think I have a future in music but I am gonna continue working on this project this sound thing and uh, try to produce something I can use um, but don't uh, don't get your hopes up that it's gonna be anything awesome as you can see, I started this painting with a sketch. I'm using a dark brown color to draw with, but it has transparency turned on, so it's, um, I think it's like 50% transparent. And that means if I uh, want a dark line, I, I draw over the same line multiple times. And this is, it actually makes it work a lot like a real pencil drawing does. Um, and it looks nicer than the the really black on white that I've done in, in previous videos. The ninja's outfit consists of leather boots, tight pants, and a hooded tunic. I'm not really sure tunic is the right word, but it's the best I could come up with at the moment. Maybe I should just call it a hoodie. Is that it's kind of a tunicky hoodie. Anyway, I added the hoodie into the painting as a separate layer because I wasn't sure I was going to go with that style. I painted in the hoodie earlier than I would normally have for my uh, normal workflow. I would have just finished the uh, sketch first, but um, I didn't want this painting to look like a nude because that's not what this is about. As with most of my digital paintings, I started off with one concept and changed it quite a bit uh, by the time it's finished. That's one really nice benefit of using digital instead of uh, traditional painting. 
you can change stuff really easily. Another benefit is that um, I don't have to put a camera mounted above my desk to make these videos. Oh, did I mention I have recently opened an account on DeviantArt.com. I uploaded some of my past work, including the most recent stuff, and I will be uploading more in the future. I should have done this a long time ago, um, because DA, as it is known for short, is a really good resource for an artist. Um, I can show off my work, and I can sell prints and digital copies of my work. So you can actually buy some stuff from me through DeviantArt.com. Um, I can even do commissions through the website, which is a little better than um, using just PayPal or something like that. I've included a link in the description to my, my DeviantArt profile page, and uh, you can click on it down there. And you might have to scroll a ways to get to that part, but uh, anyway, um, I actually write up a script whenever I'm doing these narrations so that I'm not saying, uh, quite as much. And uh, so what happens is I end up with just using this script as the description of my videos, and so it gives me a lot of relevant content in the description but the links in there so you can find it if you look so as you can see I'm coloring the ninja in now but I still have a long way to go before this is finished um, I'll stop the video when I have the basic colors of the characters blocked in picking colors is always a bit tricky for me um, it's partly because of my Cintiq, which I've explained in a previous video. Uh, but I think I actually have a problem perceiving colors and comparing them and picking colors that go well together. Um, my wife would probably agree with that. So anyway, the ninja is wearing purplish pants because that is the way of the Euro Ninja. So, as you can see, now I'm doing the background, um, basically just designing it. So I guess I'll include that in this video, so uh, you get a sense of what's going on in the story. Just basically using the ellipse tool to make this rounded corridor, curved corridor. Well, that's it for now, humans. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and also click thumbs up or share on your social networks as you see fit and have a nice day thank you bye bye